Hey everyone, and in this video we're going to be talking about lookup fields in Creator. Now, lookup fields are really, really important in Zoho Creator because they allow you to connect the data within your application. We already know that when we're creating a form, we automatically create a report that comes along with it. Creator automatically does that, and in the same way, when we uploaded our spreadsheet, that created a form and put data into a report for us. To complete our application, or to take it to the next step, what we want to do is be able to include all that information in the employee information report in our vacation request process. Now, the reason we want to do that is because ultimately we want to keep track of how many days off people are taking, which will then allow us to automate that process. So here, we're in our finished app. We can automatically select a name, say someone like Alma, and she could then submit a vacation request with a number of days. Let's say she puts in something ridiculous like 56, and it says that she has zero days of vacation left in this calendar year. Again, all of this information is being tracked in the employee information report right here, and she's already taken 20 days. So what we're doing is we're linking our vacation request form with our employee information report. That's the power of the lookup field. Now we'll need some logic and a little bit of code to be able to make the application smart enough to keep track of everything. The lookup field is what allows that basic connection to exist. So let's go ahead and switch over to the application that we're building right now. This is our employee information report. And what we're going to do is click edit this application then go to the Vacation Requests section and click on the form. And then click on the Form Builder. Right now, you can see we have this single line field collecting all of our names, but we don't really need this anymore because we're upgrading to something bigger and better, so we'll delete this. What we need now, as I mentioned, is the Lookup field. So it's right down here, and we just drag and drop it in, and now it wants to know what we need to look up and what data we're trying to connect to. From our vacation request form, we're trying to connect to our employee information and to the names, so we'll go ahead and put first name. Now, right here, we have the option to display this lookup field in different ways. So a dropdown is what we're using in our final version, but you can also use a radio button. This is good if you want to make one choice out of many options, or you have a multi-select or checkbox options, which will allow you to make multiple selections. So we'll go ahead and use the dropdown and hit done. And now we'll go ahead and retitle our field to employee name. And we also want to add last name to this. In the display fields over on the right, we'll add a new field. And again, this is looking up information in our employee information report. And we'll select last name. And then you can see a preview of what this looks like. It's not exactly like what we want. So we'll delete that hyphen. And now we're good, and we can go to the live application to see what it looks like. So now we have our employee name lookup field, and we have all of our employee names right there, right away. So that's really cool. And on top of that, we now have the ability to search. So say we want to look up Susan, or Susan wants to submit her form. She just has to type in her name, and there it is. What's important here is that this is the first step in making our application smart enough to actually take work over for us. As I mentioned, lookup fields are going to be really important in Creator because they allow you to connect the data better within your application, which is why it's a vital component of Zoho Creator. And that's all we've got for this video today. Thanks for watching and check back in for the next one. See you soon.